Good morning, everybody. Yes, we are. We are cooking Corvina. Corvina is something that I'm serving at Il Mito. Look at this beautiful, wonderful fish. It is also known as white sea bass. It has many different names, but it's mainly from northern um, United States all the way south to Baja, Mexico. And it's got a magnificent, magnificent uh, structure. It eats like a sea bass. It has those flakes, large flakes like a cod. So that's what we're going to cook. But first, we need to do our preparation to create the supporting cast to complement the main actor, which is the Corvina. First of all, all of you at home, you make sauces, you make pan sauces, you need some kind of liquid. I just reduced a little bit of chicken broth. The chicken broth is reduced to a glaze. Remember, you cannot cook with chicken broth that often. Why is that? When it comes to a sauce, it's got a lot of water content. So reduce that water content by putting it in a small pan and letting it gently reduce and become into a glaze. Now you have a great, great foundation for your sauce. Roasting some beets. I have some beets right here. Roasting some fennel, I have a fennel right here, is going to go in a bowl. Why in a bowl, chef? Because we want to use minimum amount of oil to coat the surface. So our um, seasoning sticks, a wet surface. Drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. You saw how little that was. Move this around. Meanwhile, season with a little bit of sea salt, a little bit of white pepper, and move this around. One at a time, we're going to have a piece of aluminum foil, beats in the middle. Bring it up. Why are you doing this? The reason you're doing this is because you want to trap the moisture. That is the reasoning behind it. And once you trap the moisture, the moisture has nowhere to go, so it goes back into the ingredient and starts cooking it. That's the same thing we do with garlic. Now, the fennel goes in here as well. Let's create a pouch. We have our beautiful fennel and our beets in there. Now what this needs to go to, it needs to go in a very hot oven. And that's what we're going to do. Let this baby go in that hot oven and start cooking. We will see what happens to that magnificent ingredient in a few minutes or when we come back. But meanwhile, let's make some preparation for our sauce, shall we? Some Italian parsley. This needs to go down here. Italian parsley. I love Italian parsley. Why is there a, a big difference between Italian parsley or curly parsley? Magnificent flavor and intense flavor. So take the leaves off. And don't you dare throw these stems away, because these stems are going to be great in your stock, in your sauce, or in your pestos when you're doing things, or when you're brining. So where are you going to keep them while you're waiting for them to be used? In the freezer, in a Ziploc bag, and just pile them up together. And you can do this with basil stems. You can do this with parsley stems, and on and on and on, because now is herb season right away. Then we have this lemon. That's what we're going to do is, where is my knife? Can anybody tell me? I know where you are. You think you can hide. Look at this, guys. I'm going to take the skin of this lemon off a little bit to use it in uh, searing my fish. We're going to cut the end off. We're going to cut this end off. We're going to cut the lemon in half. And look at this now. And what we're going to use is we're going to use this lemon peel and infuse the oil that we're going to cook the fish in. What's that going to do? We're going to do a lemon caper sauce as well, chef, but two different kind of flavors. This is going to infuse the oil that we're going to cook in, and we're going to chop these parsley as well. And then, as a matter of fact, Brittany said something beautiful. This is a perfect day for grilling or for picnic. This is a great recipe to grill because you make the sauce inside, you grill the fish, and you don't have to pan sear it like I am doing it. There's our parsley. Leave it a little bit rough like that, so you're going to get some topography and height on your plate. And when we come back, you're going to see the rest of it. Maybe you're going to have some magnificent weather for grilling. Let's see. Let's see, shall we? Brit, Absolutely. What do you think?